What up everybody, we're going to get some dim sum with my dad. It's actually his 64th birthday today. We just all played a bunch of tennis and now we're going to get dim sum. I gotta bring back the YouTube vlogs, man. At this point he's trolling us. <laughs> so we got to the place and I asked for a table and they were like, no, 40 minutes. And then my dad went in after spoke Cantonese to them and somehow finagled the table, obviously. They don't know that we actually speak fluent. So yeah, these are the new hats. As you can see, it's a different design. I know my last three hats were sort of different out there colors, but I wanted to do more wearable colors that you could wear like with an outfit every day because that's usually what I do. I'm gonna do a giveaway for this hat. Um, all you have to do is just comment your size below and write your Instagram handle. Just write my name is instead of my, my at because sometimes they, they think it's spam. And yeah, I don't know the exact date yet. I might put it on the screen because I'm still figuring out. But I gotta go drop these off to them and I have more hats coming too. These are what's dropping next. I'm actually dropping Mochi off to get a haircut today. She hasn't got one in a long time and I told them to do kind of a funny cut so I'm gonna see how it turns out. But partly for the reason is because Sid is finally returning after I haven't seen her for like a month. She's coming back tomorrow so excited for that. First we gotta pick up Mochi. All right, check it out. I told them to keep her ears. <laughs> she looks like a little gopher. Here. Sid is on the way back as we speak. Mochi hasn't seen her for a month. The longest Sid's ever not seen Mochi is like a couple days when we're in Mexico. I think Mochi's gonna freak out when she sees her. She has no idea. Or do you? Do you understand me? You understand what I'm saying? I'll never understand girl skincare. Like, I think what I do is a lot. I'm always like, oh, I have to do this at night. It's like three things. Then Sid's unpacking. Everything, Everything has, has, a has a purpose. purpose. Sunscreen, stretch mark green. This is a face mask. This is my body cream. Face cream. This is hair oil. This is exfoliant. This is hair oil. This is too. This is perfume. Face wash. This is hair gel. This is um. Have you ever seen a hoarder trying to justify why, why they have certain things? Feels like I'm watching that. Oh. You're just this weather? It is so cold. It is negative 20 right now at 10 in the morning. This is the beanie that I got Jeff for Christmas. Anyone recognize it? First date. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh. Awkward. Only real ones remember this hoodie. grocery shopping and I posted a question and answer thing on my Instagram story just because I feel like I haven't done one in a long time. And a lot of time it's the same question so I'm gonna try and avoid the ones I've answered before. Answer some of them in the grocery store once we get there. Someone said what is your favorite store to buy clothes from? I think Essence is kind of a, a very reliable answer especially if you're Canadian they're based in Canada and their selection is just insane. So someone said why don't Levi and Kai vlog anymore? Um, well, Levi and Kai have very successful clothing lines and I think that's what they're passionate about at the moment. And I think if you're not passionate about making videos, they won't turn out well because as much as they make them for uh, your guys' entertainment, it's also like a creative passion, I think, for sure. And they did it for a while and I can see how you can get burnt out of just bringing a camera everywhere or vlogging. Especially if you're trying to be more energetic than normal or you're just not yourself. I'll get a lot of hate comments being like, oh, you're so boring, but I never really want to force a personality because then I feel, and I feel like I'll get sick of this for sure. So I just try to be myself and clearly it's worked out to some extent, so.
Someone coincidentally asked me what's my favorite cheese. And look where I am. It's actually this one. It's some type of cheddar, deep orange. I don't know what it's called or if you can get it where you are, but it's my favorite cheese. Yeah, someone asked me. Any plans to go to Asia soon, someone said, and yes, 100%. I was just speaking to my dad, he's actually there right now in Singapore. 100% going this year at some point. And gonna make epic videos, food videos, all that. Someone said, how do you maintain a healthy relationship with Sid? You don't. You know the other day I got a comment that were like, you and Jet don't even seem like you like each other because we always troll each other on the vlog, so we need to stop doing that. No one asked this, but now that I'm here, my favorite snacks. These are amazing. This is probably my favorite chip of all time. Also amazing. These. Someone said ideal date night for us. They like just nice dinner, dinner than TV show. Someone said, did it hurt when I fell from heaven? It's a guy though. Someone said, what advice would you give to someone that wants to start their own clothing brand? I think it's hard to speak from my place of how I started because my brother started, they had a big following and I was able to sort of take some of their following and then make some of my own. So like the marketing aspect is pretty much through my YouTube channel. And if you're starting from zero, it's very hard. I, I don't really have any advice because I didn't do it like that. I don't have the best advice for starting from zero just because I started a bit on, I was able to build it off the community following I had. Someone said, should I text her? I think it's up to you, but I'm just settling for a nice cream pie. When are we going to see a cocking video with you and your brother and your father? Went cooking and he said cocking. <laughs> Do you drink? I don't think I've ever seen you partake. No, honestly, never really drank. Like literally never. Like I have obviously, but I've never, never really like enjoyed it. Last time I had, when was the last time I even had a drink? Probably like over a year, honestly. I've never been wasted. Let's put it that way. I've been like tipsy, but I've never been wasted. Never really went out that much younger either, so I never really had a reason to. What type of content do you like the most in your videos? Is it traveling, cooking with your dad, etc.? I'd just say traveling in general, going new places, because then I feel like sometimes I'll get in a stalemate of making videos like when I'm here, because I feel like I've shown a lot of Toronto, even though I probably, I can show more, but when I'm actually somewhere I've never been, I think everything is interesting, so. I have, a, I have an easier time showing it to you guys. Like when I went to Boston, I'd say trying new food always is, I love vlogging as well. The hardest thing about doing social media? I would never say, oh, my job is so difficult or it's super hard. I'd just say that because I'm super grateful and it, I have a passion for it. So a lot of the time it doesn't feel like work when I'm like creating a video or obviously working with my dad is great. In terms of this channel, Things that are difficult are sometimes I get kind of down on myself about an idea or if a video is boring and then I'll get uninspired to film. If it's not constantly like new things or entertaining things or traveling somewhere, it's boring. But um, usually when I end up posting the video in hindsight, I actually, I can appreciate my videos sometimes that I thought were boring after I watched them. And a lot of the time when videos don't perform well at first, it will be sort of discouraging. But so many of my videos that did terrible at first ended up getting like some of the most views on my channel. So not every video is also about views because I think some of my best videos don't have the most views as well. So yeah, like for example, Sid posted a Paris video and to this day, it's still gaining the most views on her channel randomly because people want to go to Paris. Yeah, so don't get down on yourself if it, things don't work out at first. Last night I was going through storage and I uncovered these. I knew I had them in storage. I'm not saying like I uncovered them, I just found them. But I, I ordered these and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna keep a shoe dead stock because I never have done that before and I was like, I'm tired of losing money on sneakers. And I ordered these like whenever they first came out for like 700 bucks, I think. And I'm not the biggest fan of this shoe either. I just maybe want to give it to my kids someday if they're my size. Hopefully they're my size, but. Um, I'm going to answer a few more rapid fire questions that I saw. Question was, what did I have for lunch? at school as a kid. When I was younger, my mom used to make me lunch pretty much every day. My dad was always in the restaurant working. So my mom would be the one to take me and take me to school, drop me off, make me food. And I'd often have miso soup with spirulina in it. If you don't know what spirulina is, it's kind of like this green superfood powder, I think. And it was called green soup. And kids would always be like, what the hell is that? And they'd look at me so weird. Seaweed would often be my lunch. I love seaweed. And then like chicken tenders or something sandwiches, lasagna, things like that. Do you plan to stay in Toronto your whole life? I've lately been kind of dreading the winters, so I think maybe next winter I won't be here for as much of it. I do still love Toronto during the other seasons, so. Where's your mom? You never mention her. My mom just honestly hates being on the camera and hates being in the videos, um, so she doesn't want me to mention her or show her, so. 
Will you finish school? Currently, in my mind, uh, I'm not thinking about it because I'm able to do social media for a living right now. And I really enjoy it, it's a passion of mine. And obviously thanks to you guys who help support the videos and the brand and the TikTok videos, cooking videos like that. So no, I don't plan on it and I never really liked the programs I was in, so. Tips for small YouTube channel. I'd say learn how to edit, depends what kind of channel you're making of course, but learning how to edit well is incredibly valuable. I think it's been a main attributing factor to my channel's initial success. Or I think being incredibly knowledgeable in whatever you want to make videos about is also important. So if you went to school for architecture, for example, you wanted to make videos about architecture, your expertise is like your greatest asset. Like when I make videos with my dad, obviously his years and years of experience in the kitchen is like the greatest asset of the videos because no one can really replicate that. Of course he has had things, he has things like his personality and that which people also can't replicate. But I don't wanna keep this video too long. I'm sorry I missed the last two weeks. I was feeling uninspired, like I said before, with some difficulties sometimes with the YouTube channel, especially with my dad, girlfriend being away and making videos alone just isn't the same. I've been working on a big project for a long time and it's still in the works and I'm, I'm bringing it this year. You guys can leave some guesses in the comments, but also been working on that. Can't say too much on it. And make sure you comment about the hat giveaway and, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.